So continuing the lecture, what we will do is that we will uh, do a solution of a problem. So we will apply the we will apply the KVL, we will apply the KCL, or you can apply even the series and the parallel equations, whichever we have seen so far to solve the problem. So there is just a mistake uh, in the problem, which is that this uh, 10 kilowatt we are uh, 10 kilo ohm we are just removing because I have just missed that while I was uh, solving this. So this is uh, you will have to just connect it uh, with a short circuit or a wire so that you just cancel it out. So there is a resistance R1 which is 20 kilo ohm. Then the circuit full circuit is in parallel with uh, 10 kilo ohm and 10 kilo ohm that is R2 and R3 resistance. And again this uh, full circuit is in parallel with R4 and R5 with having both having 20 kilo ohm. So again first you can do is that you can apply the law for the parallel circuit so the equations for the parallel circuit which we saw in the previous uh, just we have seen and when applying that uh, what you will get is that uh, you will solve this and you will get R2 R3 divided by R2 plus R3 so that's the equation to solve or 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 so that's uh, how the uh, parallel equation circuits are written in this case it will become R2 and R3 so again when you will solve it uh, you will, what you will get so that is a 1 upon R equivalent so that was R equivalent uh, so that was what you seen so when you are writing it uh, finding the R equivalent it can be written as R2 R3 divided by R2 plus R3 so why it will be written as that is that the R equivalent uh, will go up when you are taking the reciprocal of this then the R2 R3 will come in the top and the R2 plus R3 will come down so in that way when you will solve it you will find a 5 kilo ohm for this circuit and you will find a 10 kilo ohm for this circuit and when you are applying the Kirchhoff's uh, voltage law in this circuit so what will happen the 200 volt you have written as it is and uh, you can also write the current into the resistance that is a resistance uh, or the voltage drop across all the resistance because they all these are in series now so when they are in series they can be written together and you will get the current as 200 divided by 35 kilo ampere and when you solve it it will come to close to 5.71 milli ampere so again this resistance is high it is in kilo ohm so when it will go up it will become 10 raised to power minus 3 so that's the reason it is 10 raised to 3 here and when it will go up it will become minus 3 that's how it will become milliampere and again uh, the if you want to find specifically the current uh, I1 and I2 so the current you will apply the KCL here if you are applying the KCL to this node what you will find is that I equal to I1 plus I2 so the I is what you have found, found as 5.71 milliampere. So again, it is uh, the I1 and I2 can be written as V by R. So V A B by so V A B is uh, the voltage of this between A and B. So I1 will be equal to V A B by R1 and I2 will be equal to V A B by R2. So again it is seen that uh, the I1 will be equal to I2 since both the resistance are same the current will divide equally. So it can be directly written as uh, the current that is I divided by 2 so you will find the I1 and the same way you can find the I2 so again if you want to find the VAB from here then you can find the VAB like uh, it will be uh, 5.71 milliampere that is the total current and then the VAB you will if you are sub substituting the resistance then the resistance uh, is 10 ohm and both are 10 ohm so it can be if you are simplifying it will become 2 divided by 10 and again when you are solving it will come close to 28.55 so once you have found VAB again if you are not uh, following this equation that I1 is not 
equal to i2 uh, in case where this could be in case where if uh, this is uh, some 12 ohm and this is 10 ohm both are different so in such case uh, what you would want to do is that you could have you would like to find the vab that is a node voltage between these two and uh, the current can be i that is v i r so again the current can be v divided by r that is v a b divided by r 1 v a b divided by r 2 in that way you can find so in this was a simple problem in which uh, what we did was we have we solved the circuit for series and parallel based on what we have seen so this uh, both the circuits first we solved based on the parallel circuit and we found the equivalent resistance then we applied the kvl the Kirchhoff's voltage law to find the equivalent current of the circuit that is the i current then based on the current i current uh, found and we found the, the current in the circuit i1 and i2 this can be found out by two ways in this case the current would distribute equally since the resistance is equal and again if even the resistance are not equal you can solve for the node voltage that is a voltage between v a b and that VAB can be found out from this equation that is a Kirchhoff's current law so you applied the KCL here and you found out the VAB and after finding out the VAB you can easily find out the current so this is a simple problem and in such kind of problems it can be the question can be to find out the current uh, equivalent current or the current through a resistance etc and when such kind of questions are asked you can use a KVL KCL and the series parallel laws to uh, series parallel uh, solution methods to solve them and till now we have not seen the network theorems uh, to solve the circuit so after this what we'll see is the network theorems and based on the network theorems uh, it will be possible to solve such kind of uh, uh, circuits uh, more quickly and uh, using uh, specific kind of theorems and methods uh, that's all if you like this video please do subscribe also do like and comment